So the first thing we should talk about is how Desmos can be used to solve equations. So simple and more complex equations, Desmos will do it all. So for example, the first one here, really, really simple, but Desmos can still do it for us. So if we don't want to solve this equation, x minus 11 equals 23, we can just pop over to Desmos and type it in. And we could see that this line here shows us if we hover over or click this dot, the solution to that equation is just 34. In other words, if we plug 34 in in place of x, that's gonna make the equation work. Okay, so that's simple. And again, notice that Desmos shows you the solution by drawing a vertical line through the solution on the x-axis, right? So x is 34. If this had been y instead of x, watch what it would do. It would draw a horizontal line through the y-axis at 34. Okay, but same idea. Now, what if we have something even more complicated? 3 times 4w minus 18, that whole equation. Why don't we type that in? So this is a little bit tedious at first, but it's probably easier to do it this way than to solve it out ourselves. So 3 times 4w minus 18 minus 3w, and then it says equals 16 minus w. Okay, now notice what happens. Desmos doesn't like this because it needs to be either x or y. So that's easy. We can just change out every w for an x. So let's erase the w's and replace them with x's. And there you have it. It's fine with that. And the solution to this equation is 7. But notice in the question, you just have to be careful of this, it says what's the value of 2w? So remember, we changed out w for x. So really, 2x is what we're looking for, not x. So if x is 7, then 2x would just be double that, or 14. Okay, so just be on the lookout for those, but this was a lot easier than having to solve this out ourselves, I think. And then finally, a question like this, where we have function notation. f of x equals x over 10 minus 2. So we can go to Desmos, plug that in, and we'll just put it in like we see it. So equals x over 10 minus 2. Whoops, that's not how it looks. I need to move that negative 2 over. So let me hit the arrow to the right. Now it's in the right place, and now I can hit minus 2. Let me just make sure that's the right equation. Yep. Now it says, what's the value of x when f of x is equal to 5? So we've got two options. We can either type in a new equation here in a new line and say f of x equals 5. And um, you could see that over here, they intersect, and the x value is 70. So 70 would be the answer. Or... Because f of x equals 5, we could actually erase that. And in place of f of x up here, we can change that to 5 because they said f of x was 5. And either way, notice that we have a vertical line here, but it's still through that point 70. Okay, so 70 would be the answer. Now, one more thing I want to mention. You might have noticed that I was nicely zoomed out here, but if you um, weren't zoomed out, it would look like this. Okay, that home button that I just clicked up here, is like the default zoom for Desmos. So if you're ever really, really zoomed out and you want to get closer, instead of having to zoom back in, you could just hit the home button and it'll take you right back to where you started. So of course, if you couldn't see the line drawn on here and you knew there should have been one, just zoom it out and you'll find it eventually.